the man and the woman are in trouble. They need you. And listen, hear me out. Let me explain. Hello, everybody. It's Ishmael N. And I welcome you to today's video. A woman and a man, they are in trouble. And they need you. You know, I'm quickly reminded, quickly before I go further with this, I remember years ago, more than 10 years if I'm to be exact, there was a man of God who once shared a testimony. He says one time, I don't know whether he was sleeping or praying, but then the bottom line is he felt he fought a battle with a witch. I think a witch, witch who stays where they stay, where he stays. So he says in the morning, after whatever encounter they had in the spirit realm, he saw that same person now couldn't walk properly. And then he realized, oh, the battle was real. But because I am a man of God, this person was had in during that battle. So he says this person ended up coming to him asking for prayer. Perhaps she knew if it was a she, but I think it was a she. She knew what she did and she knew where she's supposed to get the help from and she knew who is the only person to release her therefore he said that yes because he's a christian he prayed for her and indeed that witch got healed and what and got up could no longer walk could oh was so sick and he was like ha 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 he laughed after the healing okay hey, don't do it again i think he said he said it in his heart or something. But the bottom line is, the witch was trying to be naughty on him. But then again, whether it was a witch or a wizard, that man or a woman, but the bottom line is, they had to go back and ask for help. They will provoke you. They will fight you. But little did they know, they are setting a trap against themselves. Tomorrow, they will need your help. Now let me more, be more deeper with when it comes to this. This is so powerful. I know of someone also who was sharing a story of how this person was once heartless to them. Years later, it was so funny to learn that the very same person was calling who once even mistreated them to start with. You get what I'm saying? But was then calling, asking for help. Whereas the person had rejected them. The stone that the builder has rejected has become a capstone. Allow me to tell you that there are many people. Check in the history of those healing times when evangelists would be healing people, when there were great revivals in the past years and so, there would be some people who would not get healed due to unforgiveness. Some would be told, repent. Some would be told, forgive this person. Some will be told, call this person and ask them for, to forgive you. They knew at that point that, you know what? They will not get help or healed unless they ask for forgiveness. Allow me to tell you, they're going to come. They're going to need your prayers. They are messing with the wrong one when it comes to you. That's why they say in general, in the world, saying they be like, do not burn a bridge. You will need it. It's so funny how I also learned this almost like the hard way, but it was not the hard way because it's not like it was too much. But I learned a big lesson before it could ever get serious in my life. I remember one time I just forgot this guy. I remember I just forgot I might lie, but the bottom line is, there was some person years ago, I looked at him and I was like, I looked down on him almost to a point where I feel like I could have mistreated him or taken him lightly. But then one day when there was something, I just forgot what it was, like I've been saying. One day I realized he was the security who was responsible for allowing people to enter and stuff. And at that point, I just wished, I was like, oh, now here is that person and I know him. And sometimes I started to feel guilty. I'm like, oh, I can't believe I looked down on this person. But it was better for me because they never saw that. He never saw me looking down on him. That's why I remember him. I think he assisted me then. there. But I was like, oh, 
So life is like this. Some people whom today you feel like they are useless to you, tomorrow they will be the one, even as a security where you might look down on them, you realize that security has so much power that even you where you feel like you have it all, you realize that person can be responsible to, save, to saving me. In that position, he has too much power to change everything. That is why in the name of the Lord, I want to tell you that they're going to call. They need your help. You will be so shocked and don't be so shocked. The very same person that in the past refused to help you. The very same person that passed you with their car. They saw you suffering. Oh, how funny this is. I am reminded about something very amazing as well. How funny this is. Allow me to tell you. The very same person who, when you are down, when things are not nice, passes you with their car, just looks down on you. You'll be so shocked that they be the ones now to come. Hey, can't you hook me up with this? I have been in situations where I would see that these people, they are in a good position. Life is going well. Perhaps they can hook me in. But I would just tell that they don't care any less. You know what I'm saying? But then, when things, the balls begin to roll, I would see when my life starts to, now they also want to have a peace. Now, when you compare, you can just tell that some, they can tell that they look at me in a, like, wow, now I'm up there. I'm like, oh, how funny and weird that these people, They've been eating well all along. They saw me suffering, but they never bought that for once. But today, they need my help. Had the Lord not provided for me, I would be down in life. Let me tell you, there are people who, when they look at you, you are nothing. But life is about to turn around. Let me tell you, it does not matter and it does not discriminate including those that have been fighting against you. You will be so shocked, even witches and wizards, witches of your life. Some you won't even be aware, but you just be so surprised. Someone says, can you please pray for me? Out of the blue, someone who looked down on you and you wonder, now you believe in me that I can pray and God can hear me, but you were looking down on me. Oh, remember this week. Someone who rejected you. That is why I want to talk to somebody. The rejection, the rejection. Like how the brothers of Joseph, they found themselves in his mercy. Oh, forgive us. They were bowing to him. And at that time, they were respecting him. They needed him. They are going to need you. They pushed you away, not knowing they are pushing you so that you can go to your destiny. And they're going to call asking for your help. They will be hungry like the brothers of Joseph. And now they'll be like, oh, please give us something to eat. Though they are the ones who placed you in that situation thinking you're going to die there. Not knowing actually they put you in the right spot. So that now you can, oh my God. In Jesus mighty name, I pray over your life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, once again, amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.